Tonight's story is called The Bean Machine by Adam Bestwick. What's Adam Bestwick? That's the name of the man who wrote this story. The Bean Machine. Beans, beans are the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. <laughs> but here's a tale of a boy named Jack who munched on beans with every snack. <laughs> In tomato sauce so thick and sweet, those orange things were his favourite treat. What treat? A treat is something that you get, which you are rewarded with, that you like a lot. Like if you like, really like biscuits, and I give you a biscuit, that would be a treat. I give you a treat. Or I give you a jelly baby because you put your trousers on by yourself. That would be a treat. So here it is in all its glory. An alternative Jack and the Bean story. This is Jack. And he eats beans for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If munching beans became a sport, he'd definitely be the winner. By day, by night, and candlelight, he'd devour them with a guzzle. Where's a guzzle? Jack even had his favourite beans on a jigsaw so puzzle. He ate beans on toast. He loved the most. And beans on peeled bananas. Beans while watching television sat in his pyjamas. And when Jack reached the bottom of his little baked bean tin, he'd simply ask for more beans, please, and wipe the sauce off his chin. Jack's mum and dad took it in turns and came up with a plan to heat beans in the microwave and warm them in a pan. Jack liked them hot for breakfast and cold by afternoon. He'd eat them from the fridge at night with his favourite spoon. But soon there was a problem, an issue with Jack's snack. A tower of tins had filled the bins and soon began to stack. What's stack? Stack, when you stack things, you put them on top of each other. You, if you put bean, empty bean can tins on top of each other, they'll get higher and higher. You're stacking them higher. You make a stack Is of... this one we are being... We are, we are bears and lots of bears and they make you stack each and each go on top of each of bear. Or you can stack up a, a pile of bricks. Oh, yes. The trash was overflowing and the bags were piling high. The kitchen was an utter mess and Mum began to cry. Why? She was crying because there were too many baked bean tins and she didn't know what to do with them all. You know? They were all empty because Jack had been eating beans all day long. What's it all day long? All day long. He starts at breakfast, carries on um, until lunchtime, has them for lunch, then he carries on eating until dinner time, then he has them for dinner, and then he goes to bed and still eats beans. That's Jack for you. So, oh, sh yeah. shall, I re shall I read on? Yeah. Meanwhile, Jack ate beans with noodles, apple strudels, beans in bowls of stew. Beans on ham and stirred in jam and even on the loo. Why? Poo. Even when he's doing a poo. Yes, sit down. 
And let, I'm going to get a put on you. Right, let me read on and I'll stop. And when Jack rushed, sorry, when Jack reached the bottom of his little baked bean tin, he'd simply say, I'd like some more, and wipe the sauce off his chin. <laughs> To get rid of the rubbish, Dad hired a massive van and drove to the recycling centre to get rid of our cans. But back at home, Jack's love for beans didn't just didn't look like stopping, and as he made more piles of tins, Mum just kept on shopping. Why? She has to buy more baked bean tins for him. Only big beans, yes. Only big beans. Jack ate beans on cake <gasps> and in milkshake. What's milkshake? A milkshake is a what drink. What is this? A, a, a milkshake is a drink made with fruit and milk, like this. Maybe that one's made of raspberries and milk. What is what is this? We'll get to it and you'll see. That looks like a lollipop to me. Yeah. And beans on ravioli. On lemon drops and lollipops and beans is on that macaroni. Lollipop? That's a lollipop, yes. Uh, macaroni! That's macaroni. That's ravioli. It's a bit Rav like, like macaroni, but it's called ravioli. And when Jack reached the bottom of his little mm. baked bean tin, he'd smile ah. and say, Got any more? And wipe the sauce off his chin. Yes, because Mum buys a thing. So you can eat the ball. Okay, I got this. Skips at the recycling centre were full and piled up high, and a pyramid of bean cans was stacked up to the sky. At home, in Jack's back garden, a, mental, a metal mountain grew. What may While well, Mum and Dad just panicked and didn't know what to do. Why? Well, they didn't know what to do with all the baked bean tins, which were now piling up in a great big stack of tins. A mountain of tins. What to eat it all? Oh. Now there's going to be an accident. Uh -oh. Then... The metal mountain tumbled, and with a clattering sound, <laughs> cans fell on cars and scooters as they crashed down on the ground. Mm -hmm. They littered ponds and flattened bikes and bent a garden gate. It left the neighbours' gardens in such an awful state. Oh, no! I suppose the neighbours were quite irate. What irate? Very angry. If they're irate, they're furious, they're immensely angry. What's really angry? Do you think they were irate? Yes! I do too. Who's this? That's the car which has had tins fallen over it. Oh, oh no! Jack kept on eating beans on greens and tangerines. No! And beans with chocolate mousse. No! Beans with peas and melted Wait, cheese and plopped in orange is juice. This, is that the melted mousse? That's chocolate mousse. That's orange juice. And that's beans with peas and what? melted cheese. Why do I like that? Like the mouth! Oh, oh is it time? And when Jack reached the bottom <laughs> of his little baked bean tin, he'd smile and say... I love these beans, and wipe sauce off his chin. Okay. As it got dark, Jack noticed that things were not quite right. So staying awake, he made a plan and worked right, right through the night. He needed help and couldn't solve this problem on his own. So Jack called up his best friend Will on his tin can phone. No! 
Jack and Will then set to work and using lots of cans, they cut, they drilled and welded them while following their plans. Finally, they both stepped back and wiping their hands clean, Jack announced, let's call it the amazing Bean Bean Machine. Without delay, Will made a start and loaded in some tins. Let's set this bean machine to work and make some metal things. So Jack pushed all the buttons while Will turned a few dials. Then Jack began to access the bean construction files. What? He tapped on the computer and things began to shake. It crunched the cans and noisily, it soon began to make metal bikes and gates with spikes and metal parts for scooters, parts for cans and furniture and bits for new computers. And when the bean machine got low and needed some more tins, Jack would shout, let load some more and Will would feed them in. Because the bean machine needed more tins to make metal things. The pile of tins was shrinking and soon would why, disappear. Why, why is that? Why has this? The bean machine kept munching cans as Ouch. Jack gave a Ouch. big cheer. What, what cheer? Hey, when you go, hooray! <laughs> Yes, sit down and let me get over the story. You're not paying attention. I love you. I know, and I love you too, but let's refinish the story. No, no. With broke, are you ready? Yeah. With broken things replaced and swapped for sparkling new, mum and dad were happy again and the neighbours too. I guess they weren't irate anymore. I guess the neighbours weren't irate anymore. New gates for the recycling centre were delivered on a lorry while Jack gave them the bean machine and told them he was sorry. At home, poor Jack was tired and settled down on his bed. I think I need some beans, he said, to relax my sleepy head. Hmm? Oh. Now where did I put my can opener? How about ready? How does the bean machine work? Yeah. Well, it's got lots of buttons and dials, and it looks like a computer, and it makes all the tin cans into other metal things like cars, bicycles, garden gates, um, anything you can think of that is made of metal. Daddy? Yes? Um, can I listen to a story? The same one? Yeah, or a different one? Well, you can choose. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs>